May 19th. Out of the wreck I rise. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Romans 8, 35. God does not keep a man immune from trouble. He says, I will be with him in trouble. It does not matter what actual troubles in the most extreme form get hold of a man's life. Not one of them can separate him from his relationship to God. We are more than conquerors in all these things. Paul is not talking of imaginary things, but of things that are desperately actual, and he says we are super victors in the midst of them, not by our ingenuity or by our courage or by anything other than the fact that not one of them affects our relationship to God and Jesus Christ. Rightly or wrongly, we are where we are exactly in the condition we are in. I am sorry for the Christian who has not something in his circumstances he wishes was not there. Shall tribulation? Let tribulation be what it may, exhausting, galling, it is not able to separate us from the love of God. Never let cares or tribulations separate you from the fact that God loves you. Shall anguish? Can God's love hold when everything says that his love is a lie, and that there is no such thing as justice? Shall famine? Can we not only believe in the love of God, but be more than conquerors even while we are being starved? Either Jesus Christ is a deceiver and Paul is deluded, or some extraordinary thing happens to a man who holds on to the love of God when the odds are against God's character. Logic is silenced in the face of every one of these things. Only one thing can account for it, the love of God in Christ. Out of the wreck I rise, every time.